Hey y'all, what up? Welcome back. So we're here again with the recap and my thoughts on Insecure. So we're on season four and this is episode two. And it definitely was a story build episode, but had a little bit of sauciness in it. Um, so to start off with the recap, um, we've got Molly, Asian Bay having dinner and then Asian Bay. Mm. Um, yeah, the cakes. And then <laughs> we go into Issa, Condola. They're still planning this block party. Super cute friends. Um, they get in this weird space where Lawrence comes up and they actually have a girlfriend bonding moment over it. Um, the girls get together. They're definitely still keeping all of the side characters in and talk about, you know, what's going on. It's Halloween. Costumes pop. Um, Kelly says, you know, she's already heard about the sex story and um, goes about her business. Issa's like, you know, Molly, girl, are you really want to do this or what's going on with you? Um, speed up a little bit. We've got Lawrence talking to the boys, getting advice, which, why does he talk to his boys? Because they fucking whack. But we do get Chad back, who I love to hate because he is just such a hot mess character. Um... They're telling him, like, oh, you girls can't talk. They're going to start a podcast about you. Don't let it happen. You slipping, my nigga. Mm-mm. Um, Molly, woman's up, hollers at Asian Ben. It's like, hey, look, can we do real dinner? I just want to sit down and kind of get it together and see what we're doing. Asian Bay agrees. They have dinner. It's not exactly what you would think. Um, gets a little bit spicy. He leaves. Um, Issa, Molly get back together and, you know, hype about schoolboy Q, Molly's like, you know, I don't know, we talked, it didn't really work, um, I don't think it's gonna work with him, Issa gets a little spicy, um, and it's like, sis, do you wanna be happy? Because you don't act like you wanna be happy, and... Molly's not for it. Um, also, in the midst of um, some of this, we get some Molly at work, which I don't know if you guys remember, but she was Shady McShade and always went out to get hers last season, and they still really not fucking with her, especially Torian. So um, he was pretty upset with her because he felt like she played him in another meeting. Um, she tried to, you know, apologize. She didn't apologize, not even try. Um, he was like, all right. So we'll see where that goes, but... In the essence, that was the whole episode. Not a ton happened. So, my thoughts. Um, I really feel like this was the episode setting the foundation for um, Issa in the beginning saying, I'm not fucking with Molly right now. So, there wasn't any huge, huge things that happened. But, um, we do get Kelly, who heard about Molly and Asian Bay sleeping together before Issa. And it was definitely like a, oh already heard that girl I'm gonna go do whatever usually you tell your best friends that first you know so that was kind of like a eh. and then um I didn't mention this in the recap but Issa and Condola are working she's supposed to be meeting Molly for dinner um Molly kind of comes up on it Issa's like oh girl just stay have dinner with us you know we'll all kick it together friends 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 and Molly's not feeling it like obviously not feeling it she's like and Condola goes to the bathroom. She's like, Issa, girl, what are you doing? Because I don't know her like that. And I really wanted to talk. Um, and Issa just kind of like dusts it off. And there's a real shade moment where Molly takes her menu back. <laughs> Love it. Um, and then a little bit later, you know, Asian Bay and Molly got into it. She's sad or whatnot. She calls Issa. Issa's like, hey, I'm at a concert. I'll call you later, girl. Um, we don't actually see if Issa calls her back. But it was more than a concert. You know what I mean? Like, it, it wasn't that she was just there kind of like kicking it. A, she was there meeting with Condola. But it was for work and it was important. So when they go for their hike, um, Issa's all turned up about her um, opener for the block party. And Molly's like, oh, dang, you found somebody? So again, another piece of information that was not shared between best friends who um, someone else knows, Condola knows. And she's already kind of like involved in that process. And then Asian Bay calls while they're on their hike and Molly says it's work. So it's just really kind of getting funny. I'm not really sure. I mean, I can feel they're not feeling each other. You know, we close out with um, Issa. I'm so happy she's done. But Issa's like, hey, I'm done with Mall Bay. He's got two 
kids and one on the way like going off on her whole little thing and the sound kind of fades out you see molly looking out because she's not really paying attention i mean i think she can kind of feel like you know what are we doing like is this um like whatever because it was like oh i gotta tell you i I don't know um molly is definitely just like a jealous friend so i think she a little bit more than isa feels like the winding of the friendship um and then when molly starts feeling a certain type of way she gets really um defensive and almost mean and like whatever so she did it to andrew when he didn't want to talk to her about her family or whatever and talking about oh i want to be with a man with depth and she goes on the attack um i like that they're kind of like building up these little things and they're letting us sense like oh dang she did oh and she did it and they threw this kind of stuff and that isa of course in her pure isa-ness is just completely oblivious to this um so that way it's not some huge nothing happened and they're not friends um i do think they're gonna have a fight they fight um but i think this one's gonna be a little bit more personal and hurtful um and i think we're gonna get quite a few episodes of them not being friends i i really do um one thing the internet's been talking about that i'm just kind of uh, about is um molly getting with torian at work i don't want it he's too skinny he's not all that cute i need her to stay with asian bay like i think he's sexy mm, as fuck and i just think he gets her and he's tough and he stays and he gets the vibe and like i don't know i like shows having other characters on them i like when the characters um are dating other people i appreciate this being like a hella black cast but how many black friend groups have an asian guy i mean i know quite a few he's got some flavor. he's in it you know what i mean i like her being with him i don't think it just has to always be um black person dating black person um i like that we can create stuff that has diversity and is a little bit more true to what things are like where we are so i hope that that's not going to be a thing um another one was isa lawrence so lawrence did um pull up to isa's place and was like hey listen can you not talk to condola about me i really want to start this off on the right foot do this my way and like let her get to know me through me um a lot of people were upset with it in the beginning i was like boy fuck you like ugh. but they've known each other for a long time um they do have a friend connection with tiffany and Derek, and then now condola and i think just to keep the peace or whatever um she's known him longer and he is trying to set up this new foundation so i don't think it was super out of pocket him asking her that um i do think he could have called but i get wanting to see her face to face and be very genuine about it what i didn't like though was when she called him before going into the schoolboy q show with condola and being like oh hey i just wanted to check and make sure i didn't i'm not gonna mess anything up should i bring it up can i talk to her about it what we're not gonna do is be checking in with you and making sure i'm keeping stuff copacetic like nigga be your relationship i said it was cool like whatever we're not gonna talk about you it's dead i think she did do a little bit too much in calling him and then in her true isa fashion we're trying to talk and he's like we can hang up now i appreciate them showing us him and seeing the smile on his face of him knowing like he's a weird ass wasn't gonna hang up so that wasn't like a really salty moody point past the fact that she called him because girl why like you don't owe that to him that's his girlfriend y'all said y'all's piece like be done with that and move on um yeah so that is season four episode two insecure definitely built some storyline for us i'm really excited to see what happens let me know what y'all think is gonna happen with molly and isa in the comments how y'all feel about lawrence coming to ask her not to talk to condola about him um do y'all think molly gonna hook up with torian because i don't want it y'all just like tell me asian man is fine because i know he's fine i want them to stay together um but <laughs> like subscribe share with your homies comment down below um and you guys also make sure you're following me on instagram at tiff says go um stay connected see some really cool pics and i'll also be you know talking my insecure shit on there as well um until next time y'all holla